Welcome! In this training module, we'll learn the basics of prescription filling in the Kroll system. To access the prescription filling screen, press the F12 key on the keyboard or click on the F12 New RX button on the start screen. The three main components of the prescription are the patient, drug, and doctor. The color of the boxes displayed correspond to the colors for the individual screens yellow for patients, green for drugs, and magenta for doctors. To move from field to field, use the tab key on the keyboard or press the control key in conjunction with the underlined letter. For example, to move directly to SIG, press control and the letter S. Any field with an arrow key to the right has a drop-down menu. Begin typing and the system will try to match the letters to select the option, or click the arrow and select the appropriate option. We'll begin with the patient information. Search for the patient by typing the beginning letters of the last and first name separated by a comma. If there's only one patient matching your search criteria, it will automatically be selected. Next, we'll search for the drug by typing any combination of the name and strength separated by a comma or the DIN. If the prescription is for a mixture, begin the search with the AT symbol. We'll use a regular drug in this example. If more than one drug matches your search, select the desired drug from the list. Verify that this is the correct drug and then press the Enter key or click on the Rx button. For stores keeping perpetual inventory, it's important to dispense the medication from the correct pack size if there are multiples for one DIN. Now we'll search for the doctor by typing the beginning letters of the last and first name separated by a comma. If there is only one doctor matching your search criteria, it will be automatically selected. The SIG can be typed as the code, and the expansion will display below as it's typed. For example, I can type the asterisk symbol with the number 2. This will expand as take one tablet twice daily. Enter the quantity to be dispensed for this prescription, not including repeats. If there are refills authorized on the prescription, press the control key on your keyboard with the letter R or click on the refills button. Enter the number of repeats or the total quantity of units authorized. Then press Enter or click on OK. This number will be displayed in the Authorized Quantity field. Then enter the day supply of the prescription. The product selection will default to number 3, Pharmacist Choice. Click on the arrow to select alternatives if necessary. Select Written, Oral, or Faxed for narcotic or controlled drugs. The system will default to print one label. If more than one label is required, type the corresponding number and press Enter. The system will assume that the quantity is not split. For example, if the quantity is 60 on two labels, each label will print 60. To split the quantity, click on the F2 button. Place a check mark next to split quantity on labels. Once this box is checked, the system will assume that the quantity is split evenly. In this case, 30 tablets per label. If this is not the case, 
click to remove the check mark for that field. Enter the quantity to print on each label separated by commas. Then press Ctrl and the letter S on your keyboard or click on Save. Now we'll move on to the tabs of extra information at the bottom left and right of the prescription filling screen. To move from tab to tab, press the Ctrl key in conjunction with the underlined letter. For example, to access pricing, press Ctrl with the letter N on the keyboard or click the name at the top of the tab. You can also press Ctrl with the arrow keys to move back and forth between tabs. Plans for the prescription are displayed here in the order in which they will be adjudicated. The information beside the plan indicates how much was paid and any extra information such as intervention codes used. The order of plans can also be changed. If the prescription is filled for a different amount than the usual fill, type the quantity of the next fill here. When this prescription is refilled, this quantity will appear. If the prescription is a partial fill for a narcotic or controlled substance and a minimum number of days is required before it can be refilled again that is different from the day supply, enter the number here. Select this option if this prescription should be enabled for auto refills. A reminder will be placed in the Start Screen dashboard. Pricing for the prescription is displayed in this tab. The top line shows the name of the pricing strategy being used. The acquisition cost is copied from the drug card. If any pricing changes are required for this prescription, select the Manual Price option. These fields then become open for editing. Make any changes necessary and then press Enter to recalculate the price. Under the Dates tab, the start date is the first fill date for this prescription. You can manually enter a date here if necessary. The written date is the date the prescription was written by the doctor. The system automatically enters the written date as the first fill date, but this can also be overwritten. The expiry date is calculated by the system based upon the number of days entered in store config. The drug expiry date is calculated here if it has been entered on the drug card. The ingest date applies to prescriptions where the pharmacist witnesses ingestion. Any comments relating to this prescription can be entered in the Comments tab. Use the F2, Insert, or Delete buttons to modify, add, or delete any comments. Under the Indications tab, any indications for the prescription can be entered here. These indications will pre-populate on the electronic medication review forms. Use the Insert and Delete buttons to add or delete any indications. An image for the prescription can be attached here. Other information pertaining to the prescription, such as doctor authorization or narcotic options, can be entered here. Now we'll move on to the Warnings tab. There are three types of symbols that appear in red, yellow, or green. A red symbol will not allow the prescription to be filled until the problem is corrected. A yellow symbol allows the prescription to be filled but indicates a potential problem. A green symbol is information only and will still allow the prescription to be filled. The Counseling tab displays the information from the drug card that will print on the label set as well as for reference purposes. 
Once all information is correct and complete, the prescription can be filled. Press the F12 key on the keyboard or click on the F12 Fill RX button to fill the prescription. Review any interaction messages as necessary. The filling screen now resets to allow you to enter the next prescription for this same patient and doctor. This concludes the prescription filling module. Thank you.